Hi, I'm Patu from Freefin Cal, and in this video, let's discuss the essential steps that are necessary to plan for early retirement in India. So, uh, fire or financial independence and uh, retiring early or early retirement is a term that has gained popularity in uh, recent years, especially after the 2008 uh, layoff. Early retirement became uh, quite popular because people uh, suddenly lost their job and they considered uh, not going back to work if they had enough. And so uh, many people think that early retirement means that uh, the person will stop working and they will, uh, you know, they will not do anything and they'll simply sit and rot. That's completely uh, uh, wrong uh, perception. Early retirement actually means uh, just having enough money so that you don't need to work for someone else. So you can work uh, uh, on your own startup, you can, you can become an entrepreneur, you can become a freelancer, you can work when you want, where you want, how you want. You can take a break for many years and then start working again. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's, 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 so the point is your schedule can be entirely flexible. You don't need to go to work on Monday. You don't need to wait for that monthly paycheck. That's what early retirement simply means. It doesn't mean actual, uh, you know, uh, uh, cessation of work. People are not going to just stop working and, uh, you know, put their feet up and get bored and, uh, and rot away. That's not going to happen. It's just, I mean, so, you, so before uh, planning for early retirement, you should actually plan for what you're going to do after you retire or after you're going to quit your regular job. That's what actually early retirement means. And financial independence means that. So you should have a plan. What am I going to do? Am I going to start something after a break? Am I going to travel the world for half my time and so on? Am I going to become an organic farmer? These are all real examples. I know people who have done all this. That's why I'm saying. So, or you can, I mean, you can simply continue your own job uh, after you become financially independent uh, in the uh, in the joy, in the, in the knowledge and joy that you can quit your job whenever you want. Or even you can even take a, uh, you know, a loan home loan to uh, after you become financially independent theoretically you can still continue working of course you need to work for some month some more time but you have achieved your uh, uh, you know your retirement target so you don't need to worry about it you can take a, a nice home loan and pay it off so i mean there are many possibilities i mean there, my, that's all i'm saying i mean it of course you you might uh, uh, smirk at the idea of taking a home loan after becoming uh, financially independent but my point is that there's my personal finance is truly personal and you can always play it in n number of ways and personalize it the way you want. So that's what essentially FIRE means. Now I have created a How to Retire Early in India ebook. It, it gives you a step-by-step -step guide to achieve financial independence. This is a free ebook. You can download it from the main menu of freefincal.com. What I'll be discussing in this video is essentially the basics of uh, early retirement, how to approach early retirement as a, as a goal. Uh, after that, I'm, uh, this ebook is necessary for you to plan it and uh, step by step. The first thing I would tell you is do not look at all these US based blogs and early retirement forums and uh, say I will be frugal in life. This is complete nonsense. Uh, I mean, this is what young people who have not faced an emergency or uh, sudden uh, unexpected recurring expenses talk. They think that they will uh, reduce their expenses and uh, be frugal and therefore their corpus need not be too high. Look, you may want to be frugal, but life has to let you be frugal. You may not uh, spend, uh, you know, you change your smartphone every two years or uh, change your, uh, uh, you know, flat screen TV every two years. But uh, what happens if suddenly you get an illness that requires uh, not hospitalization, but uh, uh, expensive medication? Somebody in your family needs expensive medication. You need to spend more. You, if X is your monthly expenses, sudden unexpected expenses like uh, health can cause that X become 2X. Then what will you do? Your corpus will, you know, you will dwindle twice as fast. So do not count on frugality. Always think of the worst that can happen in your life and plan for that. Plan for the worst, hope for the best. Don't, don't count on frugal. That's again, just like an SIP. That's just hope, not a strategy. If you want to become... Um, financially independent, you need to at least invest two to three times of your annual expense a year. For uh, normal people, people who want to retire at 55 or 50, normal retirement age today is 55. In 10 years, it will become 50. 
it's no longer 60 nobody nobody in corporates are uh, can uh, work uh, beyond 50 most of them are terribly stressed out so for normal retirement if x is your annual expense you need to invest x every year for early retirement you need to double it or triple it so that your uh, 55 retirement is pushed to uh, 45 or 40 or even 35 if you are lucky so that's essential understand what is known as sequence of returns risk now when you plan for retirement you will plan for let us say i have 3 crores how long will this 3 crores last me uh, how long if i that is if i invest this 3 crores and draw an income from it every year how long before that 3 crores becomes zero when you plan for uh, when you do some calculations like this on excel mostly people will assume uh, you know uh, they will assume a ret- rate of return like uh, 2% above inflation and some of these stupid us blogs some of them are extremely popular they assume 4% above inflation which is atrociously dumb please don't read any any of those blogs they are all dumb i am sorry they don't understand uh, actual problems so they will they will they will assume such returns but even if you assume a return equal to inflation let's say 8% is inflation and 8% is the return that you assume on your entire corpus because you are going to invest in equity you have to invest in equity if you retire early otherwise you you, you cannot manage because you are going to invest in equity and because equity returns can fluctuate wildly and if during the first few years after you actually quit your regular job if the returns are terrible then the corpus will dwindle faster that's called sequence of returns risk i will show you an example in a separate video if you do not understand what sequence of returns risk is please please do not quit your job it's completely uh, silly to do so and do not count on all these blogs i read a blog where uh, a person says invest 70% of uh, your money after you retire early in stocks this is a dumb ass idea there there are crazy people out there who do not who have not actually looked at actual returns from the past and seen how tight it is so please don't do that if you are asking me have i done it yes i have be super conservative in your assumptions i have uh, a free robo advisory template which will help you plan for uh, retirement or any other goal and it doesn't matter uh, at what age you want to retire and even if you are uh, even if you are just about to retire in the next year or uh, just retired it will still help you tell you how st- how robust your corpus is what you should do with it and so on so please plan with that the assumptions there are uh, like i assume only 10% from equity 8% is inflation kept uh, and i'll also give you an example of how to be super conservative so uh, let me uh, do that uh, so one more point do not quit your job until you are triply sure that you have uh, enough for a, a retirement and you have um, you have checked every kind of uh, eventuality that can happen to you uh, you know negative uh, event that can happen in your life and uh, destroy your plans unless you check it you cannot plan for it so let me just show you this i have a calculator um, Uh, this is called an annuity calculator so i'll give you an example let us say your annual expense in the first year of retirement your annual expense in the first year of retirement this is not the current annual expense in the annual expense in the first year of retirement is 5 lakhs as an assumption right and let us say the interest rate on the corpus that is you're going to invest this uh, your retirement corpus and the end interest rate that you are going to get is only 8% the inflation rate is 8% so the interest rate on your corpus or the return on your corpus is equal to inflation this means that the real return is zero the return above inflation is zero and let us assume that you are you want money for 30 years that is you want the money to last for 30 years then the corpus is 1 150 lakhs or 1.5 crores now notice that if the return or the interest rate is equal to inflation then the um corpus is equal to 30 times the amount needed in the first year that is the expenses in the first year that's called the 30x rule so if x is the amount needed in the first year and for uh, interest rate or return equal to inflation your corpus will be 30 times x so 30 times 5 lakhs is 150 lakhs 
that's called the 30x rule so that's the bare minimum that's like uh, when you have just reached the lower margin of fire that's called uh, that's the 30x rule right i'm i have reached this it took me about 10 years to do this uh, but you it's not enough to retire you need a little more cushion to retire what i would recommend is let us say um, you you want to achieve financial independence and early retirement by uh, 45 beyond that it's not early retirement because normal retirement itself is becoming uh, uh, is going down every day it's uh, uh, currently it's 55 and it will be going down lower so 45 is the <laughs> kind of uh, you know what you should can consider early retirement so if you are going to retire at age 45 your corpus should last for another 45 years that is until you become age 90 so let us assume when you are 45 uh, your annual expense in the first year is 10 lakhs so 10 lakhs is the uh, corp is the annual expense at age 45 you want to find out what is the total corpus required for that corpus to last another 45 years let us assume the return is 8% and the inflation rate is 8% then you can you, you see that's uh, 450 lakhs or 4.5 crores that's 45 times that's the 45 x rule or the 30 x rule this is uh, conservative but it is not super conservative you need to be you need to be a little more sure because equity returns can fluctuate and you if you get a very bad sequence of returns that's like for uh, there's a flat market for five years six years and so on then you are in real trouble you will not even get eight, uh, that annual eight percent return so on your entire portfolio after uh, after tax because you are withdrawing every year remember that so in that case i would recommend for financial early retirement and financial independence keep this six percent that is two percent below inflation that is a real return of about minus two percent that's like 70 times so if you notice this is this corpus divided by the money required in the first year that's like 70 times 70 x that is the uh, super safe margin for early retirement many people will not even have 30 x if you read all these us blogs they will uh, what they will do is they will assume uh, uh, for if 8% is the interest rate, they will assume I will invest more in equity. Therefore, I will get 12% return. That's 4% above inflation. That's like 22 times. That's like 22 times. Don't And some people will know, they will conveniently set the return at 12% and keep the inflation at 6 percent So, they'll say 15x is enough for me. 17x is enough for me. That's just complete garbage. Please do not uh, read such nonsense and uh, get yourself misled at the i would i would suggest that you keep eight percent inflation and eight percent return and keep that as a target so you will need 30x or uh, 45x if you need money for 30 years you will it's 30 times the uh, expenses in the first year if you need money for 45 years it's 45 times the expenses in the first year this is conservative i would recommend that you be super conservative and set the return at six percent uh, and so that you have 70 you have a 70 X target that's like almost seven crores or at least six crores I know this looks a lot I know that this means that most of you cannot retire early but why should you retire early early retirement is not for everybody unless you can invest a super amount of money every month or every year you cannot retire early because there are the, the dangers are too high so be very very careful uh, be very conservative at least uh, take 1% minus 1% return like 55 or 50x if not 30x or 45x at least 50x be conservative and uh, work with around 5 crores otherwise it's difficult I know most of you this means that most of your plans will be destroyed but that's life it's better that your uh, early retirement plans are destroyed uh, rather than you quit your job and assuming that you can manage with the money you have and you are not able to manage compared to that uh, scenario and that risk the uh, uh, the dream of early retirement being postponed or uh, you know being uh, squashed or diminished is i would say much better so uh, don't don't play with see in excel it will give you whatever number you put in you can put in nice numbers and it will give you a nice result that doesn't mean 
uh, nature works like that or life r works like that real life is really hard please please understand uh, most people who want early retirement are too young to have faced uh, series of emergencies and health issues they do not know uh, the kind of problems that they can have with money they think that they will be frugal and be okay with it that's just wrong so uh, if you go to the freepincal.com uh, website the in the main menu there is a free ebooks link you can download six free ebooks one of those six free ebooks is how to retire early in india if you have any questions on retirement or fire you can leave them in the comment section please do not forget to subscribe to the channel please look at the past videos and explore what i have done many of you are going to get angry with me for uh, uh, saying uh, 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 things that I've said in this video about being super conservative and many of you are going to disagree with me. That's fine. Go ahead and disagree. Um, that too is fine. So I'll catch you uh, on another video. Bye-bye.